SAP SLCM, Supplier Lifecycle Management, Interview Questions and Answers. What is SAP SLCM? SAP SLCM stands for Supplier Lifecycle Management. It is a component of SAP Supplier Relationship Management, SRM, that focuses on managing the entire life cycle of suppliers. What are the key components of SAP SLCM? SAP SLCM comprises supplier registration, supplier qualification management, supplier evaluation, and supplier development. What is supplier registration in SAP SLCM? Supplier registration is the process of onboarding new suppliers into the system. It involves collecting and validating supplier information. Explain supplier qualification management in SAP SLCM. Supplier qualification management assesses a supplier's capabilities and qualifications to meet business requirements and standards. How does SAP SLCM handle supplier evaluation? SAP SLCM allows organizations to assess supplier performance based on predefined criteria and KPIs. What is supplier development in SAP SLCM? Supplier development focuses on improving supplier performance through training and collaboration. What are the benefits of using SAP SLCM? Benefits include improved supplier relationships, reduced risk, better supplier performance, and increased compliance. How does SAP SLCM help in risk management? It helps identify and assess supplier-related risks and provides tools to mitigate them. What is the role of SAP Master Data Governance in SAP SLCM? SAP MDG helps maintain accurate and consistent supplier master data across the organization. What is SAP SLCM's integration with SAP Ariba? SAP SLCM can be integrated with SAP Ariba to extend supplier collaboration and procurement capabilities. How does SAP SLCM handle supplier compliance? It allows organizations to define and enforce compliance standards for suppliers and monitor adherence. Explain the concept of supplier self-service in SAP SLCM. Supplier self-service enables suppliers to update their information and participate in various processes within the system. Can you describe SAP SLCM's reporting and analytics capabilities? SAP SLCM provides robust reporting and analytics tools to track supplier performance and trends. What is the role of SAP Supplier Network Collaboration SNC, in SAP SLCM? SAP SNC extends collaboration with suppliers by enabling real-time information exchange. How does SAP SLCM help in supplier segmentation? It allows organizations to categorize suppliers based on various factors, such as importance and risk. What are the different deployment options for SAP SLCM? SAP SLCM can be deployed on-premises or in the cloud, depending on an organization's preference. Explain the concept of supplier scorecards in SAP SLCM. Supplier scorecards are used to evaluate and rank suppliers based on their performance against predefined metrics. What is the SAP SLCM workflow engine, and how is it used? The workflow engine automates supplier-related processes, ensuring they follow predefined approval and routing rules. How can organizations ensure data security in SAP SLCM? Security measures such as role-based access control and data encryption can be implemented to protect supplier data. What are some challenges organizations might face when implementing SAP SLCM? Challenges include data quality issues, resistance to change, and integration complexities with existing systems. What is the difference between SAP SLCM and SAP SRM, Supplier Relationship Management? SAP SLCM focuses specifically on supplier lifecycle management, while SAP SRM covers a broader range of procurement and supplier-related processes. How can SAP SLCM help reduce procurement costs? By improving supplier performance and collaboration, organizations can negotiate better deals and reduce procurement costs. Explain the concept of supplier risk assessment in SAP SLCM. Supplier Risk Assessment evaluates the potential risks associated with a supplier, including financial stability and compliance issues. 
What role does SAP Supplier Self Services play in SAP SLCM? Supplier Self Services allows suppliers to manage their information and interact with the organization more efficiently. How does SAP SLCM handle supplier audits? SAP SLCM provides tools for conducting supplier audits and tracking audit findings. What is the significance of Supplier Performance Monitoring and SAP SLCM? Supplier Performance Monitoring helps organizations ensure that suppliers meet their contractual obligations. How does SAP SLCM support supplier collaboration? It enables real-time communication and collaboration with suppliers, facilitating better coordination and information exchange. Can you explain the role of SAP SLCM in sustainability initiatives? SAP SLCM can help organizations assess and improve supplier sustainability practices. What is supplier segmentation, and why is it important in SAP SLCM? Supplier segmentation categorizes suppliers based on their strategic importance and risk profile, allowing for tailored management approaches. How does SAP SLCM assist in supplier performance improvement? It provides tools for identifying areas of improvement and implementing supplier development programs. What is the SAP SLCM Supplier Portal, and what functions does it serve? The Supplier Portal is a web-based interface that allows suppliers to access and interact with the SAP SLCM system. How does SAP SLCM handle supplier collaboration on innovation and new product development? It facilitates collaboration between suppliers and organizations on innovation projects and new product development. What are the challenges in maintaining accurate supplier data, and how does SAP SLCM address them? Challenges include data inconsistencies and duplicate records. SAP SLCM provides data validation and deduplication tools. What is supplier risk assessment, and why is it important? Supplier Risk Assessment evaluates the potential risks associated with a supplier, such as financial instability or geopolitical factors. Can you explain the role of SAP SLCM in supplier performance benchmarking? SAP SLCM allows organizations to compare supplier performance against industry benchmarks. How does SAP SLCM support supplier diversity and inclusion programs? It enables organizations to track and promote diversity among their suppliers. What are the key steps in the supplier qualification process within SAP SLCM? Steps may include supplier registration, data validation, qualification assessment, and approval. How does SAP SLCM assist in supplier relationship building? It provides tools for continuous communication, collaboration, and feedback with suppliers. What role does SAP SLCM play in procurement analytics and forecasting? It provides data and insights that can be used for procurement analytics and forecasting. Can you explain the concept of supplier collaboration networks in SAP SLCM? Supplier collaboration networks enable real-time communication and collaboration between buyers and suppliers, enhancing efficiency and visibility. What is the role of SAP SLCM in managing supplier performance metrics? SAP SLCM helps organizations define, track, and report on supplier performance metrics, such as on time delivery and quality. How does SAP SLCM handle supplier collaboration for procurement planning? It allows for collaborative procurement planning, ensuring that suppliers are involved in forecasting and demand planning processes. What is Supplier Risk Mitigation, and how does SAP SLCM support it? Supplier Risk Mitigation involves strategies to reduce the impact of supplier-related risks. SAP SLCM supports this through risk assessment and monitoring tools. Can you explain the role of SAP SLCM in supplier communication and feedback management? SAP SLCM enables real-time communication, feedback collection, and issue resolution with suppliers, fostering better relationships. How does SAP SLCM help organizations in supplier performance benchmarking against industry standards? It allows organizations to compare their supplier performance against industry benchmarks to identify areas for improvement. What are some common challenges in implementing SAP SLCM? and how can they be overcome? 
Challenges may include data migration issues and resistance to process changes. Overcoming them requires thorough planning and change management. Explain the role of SAP SLCM in supplier diversity reporting and compliance. SAP SLCM can generate reports on supplier diversity, helping organizations comply with regulations and diversity goals. How can SAP SLCM improve supplier collaboration in the procurement process? It provides a platform for real-time collaboration on purchase orders, invoices, and supply chain planning. What is the significance of supplier performance measurement in SAP SLCM? Supplier performance measurement helps organizations make data-driven decisions and identify opportunities for cost savings. How can SAP SLCM help organizations ensure ethical and sustainable sourcing practices? It enables the monitoring and evaluation of supplier practices, ensuring compliance with ethical and sustainable sourcing standards. What is the role of SAP SLCM in managing supplier contracts and compliance? It helps organizations create, track, and enforce supplier contracts, ensuring that suppliers adhere to agreed-upon terms. How does SAP SLCM handle supplier risk scoring? It assigns risk scores to suppliers based on various criteria, facilitating risk assessment and mitigation. Can you explain the concept of supplier collaboration portals in SAP SLCM? Supplier collaboration portals are web-based interfaces that allow suppliers to access and interact with the SAP SLCM system for various tasks. How can organizations use SAP SLCM to drive supplier performance improvement initiatives? SAP SLCM provides insights and tools to identify areas of improvement and implement action plans with suppliers. What is the role of SAP SLCM in managing supplier disputes and resolutions? It helps in documenting and tracking supplier disputes, facilitating their resolution through a structured process. How does SAP SLCM facilitate supplier risk assessment based on financial data? It integrates with financial systems and provides analytics to assess supplier financial stability and risk. What is the role of SAP SLCM in managing supplier certifications and qualifications? It tracks and manages supplier certifications and qualifications to ensure they meet the organization's standards. Can you explain how SAP SLCM supports supplier audit management? SAP SLCM provides tools to plan, conduct, and document supplier audits and track audit findings and resolutions. How does SAP SLCM handle supplier information updates and changes? It allows suppliers to submit updates and changes to their information through self-service portals, subject to approval. What is the role of SAP SLCM in supplier capacity planning? It helps organizations assess supplier capacity and plan procurement accordingly to avoid supply chain disruptions. How does SAP SLCM handle supplier performance feedback from multiple stakeholders within an organization? It consolidates feedback from various stakeholders and uses it to evaluate supplier performance comprehensively. Explain the concept of supplier collaboration dashboards in SAP SLCM. Supplier collaboration dashboards provide real-time visibility into supplier performance and collaboration activities. How does SAP SLCM ensure data privacy and compliance with regulations like GDPR? It offers data access controls, encryption, and auditing features to protect supplier data and comply with privacy regulations. What is the role of SAP SLCM in managing supplier risk categories? SAP SLCM allows organizations to categorize suppliers into risk categories based on factors like geographic location or industry. Can you explain the role of SAP SLCM in supplier performance benchmarking against internal standards? SAP SLCM enables organizations to compare supplier performance against their own internal standards and goals. How does SAP SLCM support supplier collaboration on cost reduction initiatives? It provides tools for identifying cost-saving opportunities through collaboration with suppliers, such as joint process improvement projects. What are some key considerations when migrating from SAP SRM to SAP SLCM? Considerations include data migration, process re-engineering, and training for the new system. 
How can SAP SLCM assist in managing supplier diversity spend reporting? It tracks and reports on spending with diverse suppliers to ensure compliance with diversity and inclusion goals. Explain how SAP SLCM helps in managing supplier performance against service level agreements (SLAs). SAP SLCM allows organizations to define SLAs and monitor supplier performance against these agreements. What is the role of SAP SLCM in supplier risk segmentation? SAP SLCM helps segment suppliers based on their risk profiles, allowing organizations to allocate resources effectively. How does SAP SLCM handle the management of supplier certificates and compliance documentation? It maintains a repository of supplier certificates and compliance documents, ensuring they are up-to-date and accessible. Can you discuss the role of SAP SLCM in supplier capacity planning and management? SAP SLCM assists in assessing supplier production capacities and managing them to meet demand fluctuations. Can you describe the role of SAP SLCM in monitoring supplier lead times and delivery performance? SAP SLCM monitors and analyzes supplier lead times and delivery performance to identify areas for improvement. What is the significance of Supplier Relationship Management SRM, in SAP SLCM? SRM encompasses the strategies, processes, and technologies used to manage supplier relationships effectively, which is a core aspect of SAP SLCM. How does SAP SLCM handle supplier collaboration for new product development and innovation? It facilitates collaboration with suppliers on product innovation, allowing for the exchange of ideas and development of new products. Mm -hmm.